Growing up in Alaska was really kind of interesting, and I think a lot of people here don't really kind of understand. You know, we spend nine months of the year in snow, and and what that means is basically our entire soccer career we play indoors, and we play in one singular enclosed turf space, and we play a lot in gyms, so we play a lot of futsal, and that basically means that you know, if you're not really into the skiing and the snowboarding and you're going to play a sport, then you get to really, like, work all the time because there's always going to be something happening. So, you know, that meant that we had practices, you know, every day and it was the same group of people and you played with them your entire lives. And so it was n not a lot of new stuff, but it was, you know, it really built a good sense of community. And you got that a lot in school, too, because it's, like, not a very populated place. We see the same people all the time and you know some people will like that some people didn't I chose to branch out to Portland so I guess I it wasn't for me anymore but I really enjoyed um, you know knowing that I would go somewhere and I could see somebody and I would go to practice or go and do my own thing on my own time and I would definitely see like my teammates and stuff so I always enjoyed that aspect of it but growing up outside of sports in Alaska was fun because we have a lot of family upstate and we have so much natural beauty so whenever we weren't you know playing then we would get to go out and like go hiking or I love to go kayaking so we could go do that in the summers and during the summer we also road trip up to Fairbanks which is like six hours so you get to pass Denali um, and get to see like all of your family members and see more of like the community that we get to play with throughout the state too. Because our soccer scene is kind of scarce and it's a pretty uh, small pool we have to travel a lot and we do a lot of our showcases in the pack northwest and uh like california and phoenix and vegas and um from a really early age i think it was either seventh or eighth grade we traveled to portland for one of them and i remember touching down and driving around the city with you know the team and then later with my family and I remember just feeling like a sense of home and it was like indescribable it was just kind of like a bell like rung out within my soul and I was like this is where I want to be for you know the next chapter of my life and so when I was looking at getting recruited and looking at playing in college I ended up just looking up a bunch of schools in the Portland area and and you know specifically I was really interested in Lewis and Clark because it was so close to the city that, you know, I just emailed all these coaches and I met with all of them and I was really fortunate to have it work out here. But I've really enjoyed being here and and seeing everything that I initially fell in love with. So it's been great. I mean, it's a pretty big culture shock. Um, you know, uh, in Alaska, we it's not exactly the same, you know, climate. Um, we it's a little bit more conservative and so coming to school here where everybody was um you know not as conservative and was more open about their political beliefs like it was really interesting to be able to finally like express myself in that light and I found that like especially during my freshman year I was constantly learning and like constantly like learning like you know what people were talking about and like what they when they referred to something like what that meant and you know like all of this stuff and and you know the classes here also like continued to teach me more and more about that and so I felt like during the first bit I was like I was in a huge shock I was kind of like stunned for a little bit because I figured you know the west coast is the west coast it'd be pretty similar and I was I was dead wrong so I just you know had to sit back and observe for a while and and you know, finally dip my toes into the water and start, you know, communicating and, like, talking about, like, all these big things. But it was really interesting because, like I said, like, I finally got to, like, express, like, my beliefs and, like, talk to people about, like, what, like, I actually, like, agreed with. And, you know, especially when the election happened freshman year, like, that was a huge event on campus. And I remember everyone in Copeland was, like, camped out in the common room and we were all watching and it was so, like, ner like nerve-wracking, but it was, like, a moment that... I wouldn't have had like had I stayed home or gone I don't think anywhere else so it was really it's been really cool to see that part of like the community I think coming here the shift in soccer was kind of dramatic at home you know we really do a lot of technical work because that's kind of all we all we do and here it was a really more holistic um, side of the game and so we do a lot of technical work still here but you know we we try to emphasize other aspects of our of our strengths you know we try to ask like um emphasize like 
the fact that we have all this athleticism, that we have the ability to stretch the ball wider. And, you know, now that we're in college, we're going to, to lift every week and we're getting stronger and we get to incorporate those aspects also in our play. So that's, that's pretty fun as well.